Hi all, welcome to our channel. So guys, uh, this is very important option about our website. That is a crawling for search engine purpose. How you can crawl your website search engine? The previous I will discuss about the in the previous class. We discuss about the robot or TST file. Robot or TST file any allow or disallow? They are totally dependent by the sitemap. So sitemap nothing but we can using for XML sitemap option. Here, how many pages you have? That all pages you can download. That will be mentioned for what are the, your modification, what are the, your frequency attribute, what are the, your changes. That all will be given by the XML site. For a simple example, suppose you are making a one e-commerce website. Every day, a lot of pages will be added. That all pages, how you can indexing for your particular website that will be calling for search engine purpose. Here, in this XML site map, up to find it will be free. If you go for 1,000 to 1.5 millions, they are pay for $3.49 per month. So that will be compulsory. Input. There will be XML site map, HTML site map, email notification, mobile app, search engine submission, automated updates. There's a lot of options out here. In this area, I'm using for this is a very, very much of important. Up to this five points. In these five points, just copy the URL. First option, what is your, your page last modification? You have changed any page modification, like test will be changed or something, anything change, the first option. Second will be page priority. The page priority relevant to the other pages, the same website, the value for attribute in a number of between 0, 0.0 lowest and 1.0 highest. Our generator will be gradually decrease priority depending on the page depth. That is how many clicks away is from the home page. This all will be nothing but page priority. Maybe is a one or maybe zero here. And the value indicate how frequently the content at a particular URL is likely to change. Suppose your content always will be changed, but it will be changing for always. Hourly change daily and never change. You can say click for never change. But definitely we are changing for something will be happen in your particular website. So that is compulsory. You can click for always option. Start your downloading. Once you download this file, they will be download the file will be on your particular PC. How many pages you will be scan. That is scan will be page and download your XML sitemap. So click for download the file. Go to cPanel, file manager, same public underscore HTML, you can upload it. So before upload, any old file is there, we can remove it. They will be updated by the March 11th. So delete. Now update the new file. Click for download. Updated. Reload. XML sitemap will be updated today, 11.32 a.m. Is a 542 here. How we can check after dot com sidebar dot XML. So they will be today date, they update the your particular file option. So this compulsory any kind of website we have immediately we can update and do this particular option. So this is compulsory important. This will be only for this website will be up to 500 links will be free. So unlimited pages website also there. I'll show that website link here. So this is one of the website, check iphone domains.com sitemap index.php. This particular website, we can download unlimited XML sitemap pages. And we can using for nimtools.com. So in the nimtools.com, we can check you will be here. Where is the files? So we can choose the files. XML generator. 
see this effect. They open up a web page here. They take some time. Here, we can download up to 5,000 links. We can download up to 5,000 links. So here. Yeah. Is unlimited, is a 500. That will be, we can use him for 5,000 links. That is a nimtools.com website. So this will be mainly focus about the search engine optimizer purpose. They mainly search engine optimize the purpose. This is a method we can use on the particular XML sitemap option. This based XML sitemap, robot.tc will be allow URLs and disallow the URLs. They will decide from based on the XML sitemap option. So follow these conditions and update your XML sitemap daily wise, weekly wise, based on the pages, adding and a modification data. So if any question about XML sitemap, please watch my channel. I definitely will be support you how to add in for XML sitemap. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe our channel.